Hello. Today we're going to cover all the other controls that I didn't show you in the first Google SketchUp video. Um, I'll be showing you the 3D warehouse and the components and um, the rotator and the other things on that bar. So, um, here we go. Okay, so here are the two other, or here are the four other controls that I didn't cover. Um, or actually, eight. Um, yeah, so this is your tape measure used for, well, obviously, uh, measuring. Uh, you can measure how long something is, how wide something is, and all the measure and uh, the measurements that you make will either appear in this box next to the tape measure icon, or it will appear in here in this little box at the bottom right hand corner. So uh, next we have the paint bucket where you can color in any face um you can color in any face with a different pattern uh like for example say i wanted like water i'd start with a rectangle or any other shape that you want and uh i'll go with this just click it and there you have your little pool or water whatever you want uh, there are a bunch of more other patterns, but I'm not going to take up too much of your time. Um, this is to zoom in. See? You could just use, uh, you could just use a scroll on your mouse. As you can see, this is to, uh, this is to zoom into a certain spot, right, to the center. See, this is to get uh, this is to get a current view of what of uh, what it would look like on Google Earth. This is to get models from the three D warehouse. Uh, you could also go to File three D warehouse and get models. Uh, this is just a lot faster. You can search up uh, whatever models you want. For example, let's say uh, TV. It'll have different results for a TV. See? I really like that one. Um, but yeah, for this, you don't really have to be specific. Like, for example, let's type in uh, Boeing. For those who don't know what Boeing is, it's the plane company. The big jet airline plane company. See? It'll give you different, uh, different results that have uh, the word Boeing in it. And yet it'll have some other words in it. And you can always press download model and it'll download it right to your SketchUp. Uh, there's also components. See, now this also comes from, um, this also comes from the warehouse. See, let's type in Boeing. You, um, for this, uh, you really have to be, uh, specific with the components. You have to be, like, specific word for word, at least. At least I think so. Okay, apparently not, but... Yeah, this will only show you a few... Only a few uh, models. Uh, the 3D Warehouse gives you a, a lot more models. I'd recommend the 3D Warehouse. Um... Oh, I forgot to cover these. This is a circle, as you can see. You can make it large or big. And you can lift it up. See? Delete that. And you can also make an arc. You just draw the line. You just draw the line for the end of the arc. And then you push up. And you should get an arc shape. See? 
And if you want to make it like a 2D, then you would just take your pencil and draw a line from end point to end point. And if you wanted to make it 3D, then just lift it up. So, um... And that is basically it for this SketchUp tutorial. Um, <clears throat> hope I didn't waste too much of your time, but yeah, so just mess around, start playing with the controls. You can go to the 3D warehouse and look at other models to get inspiration. Um, so yeah, just have fun with it and... Uh, Just have fun and do whatever you want. Uh, good luck.